Cantrell Funeral Home leaves abandoned bodies and babies stored in the ceiling of their funeral home firm. You think I'm lying? Take a look at this. We do begin this afternoon with breaking news about the Cantrell Funeral Home investigation. We have learned inspectors missed the hidden infant bodies during a search weeks ago. Local force Sean Lee joining us live now in Detroit's east side with the new timeline on this case. Sean? Hey, Rod, good afternoon. This is a huge development in the Cantrell Funeral Home case. Here's what we're learning right now, that back in April, the state suspended Cantrell's license based on these issues. Incompetence, gross negligence, and improperly stored bodies. The question at this noon hour is, how are now, only now, infant remains and cremains being found inside? It was back in August when state inspectors were led right to this funeral home, and they were told that corpses were hidden throughout this building. In a new timeline from the Department of Regulatory Affairs, it shows that the inspector failed to check every inch of this house of horrors. It was back on August 28th when an anonymous caller told Laura, the State Department for Regulatory Affairs, that corpses were hidden throughout. Cantrell Funeral Home. August 29th, an inspector was inside Cantrell and found a stillborn corpse in a box. Armed with that red flag, nothing else was discovered. 45 days later, Laura gets a letter giving them now explicit instructions where to locate infant corpses inside Cantrell Funeral Home. Only then is when the bodies of 11 infants ranging from early gestation to a couple of months old were identified. A cadaver dog then swept the facility and located no additional bodies. And then, after inspecting this building in August, and again making those shocking discoveries of infant remains last week, the new building owner alerted Laura again yesterday that his employees found more cremains inside Cantrell Funeral Home. Just moments ago, I asked a Laura spokesperson if inspectors were inside in April and August, and they were told... There were bodies stored throughout the building. Why didn't they find them? The answer right now, quote, we inspected the physical operations of the business. When we got tips, then we searched the building in full. The director of that state office responsible for the inspections here, Everod, going to take questions during a conference call at 3.30 today, and we certainly have a lot of questions for her. Back to you. Absolutely. A lot of questions indeed, Sean. A lot of people have been following this story, and we're going to continue to keep everyone updated on this. You can, of course, follow the entire timeline of the Cantrell discoveries over on our website. Just go to clickondetroit.com for that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is imperative that you hear me out. If you do not investigate these funeral homes, especially these bootleg funeral homes, I am telling you before you sign the contract over to hand your loved one to this funeral home firm, you must investigate everything. Did you hear the report? The funeral home had stored babies in the ceiling of the funeral home firm, found cremated remains throughout the entire building. If you do not use your hair for more than a head rack and hang and weave her on it, you will perish because of the lack of knowledge. You cannot say you did not know because I bring you the facts and I get down to the core problem as to what is going on in these funeral homes. I'll keep watching. Will you? Thanks for stopping by.